Good morning. I am just doing a quick video to show you how to auto provision meshing. So I have these six AP Pro AXs. I'm going to create a Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz mesh, and then I'm going to broadcast 2.4 gigahertz for my Wi-Fi. Um, and so I'm going to use 5 gigahertz as the backhaul and then 2.4 gigahertz as my broadcast. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, have my routers, and then I'm going to make sure they are running the latest firmware. And so we've updated them to the latest firmware. And you should go to settings and firmware policy. And I pushed out this latest firmware. Now, right now, they're all plugged into a switch. So I just literally have these plugged in to a 24-port um, PoE switch. And then they're plugged into my, my backpack, actually. And that's getting them online. So that was why I can just quickly and easily program them all without, without any real concerns. Then I'm going to go to Wi-Fi, group radio settings. And down here, I've got mesh. So I'm going to click add. And I'm just going to put 5 gigahertz mesh. I'm going to choose 5 gigahertz. And I'm going to give it a pre-shared key. There we go. And hit OK. So now I've created this 5 gigahertz mesh and on this frequency. Then I need to tell it what I want to do with this mesh. So I clicked the add here. So let me delete that real fast. So I clicked add. And then all devices in the group, and I choose the 5 gigahertz mesh profile. So this is going to add that profile uh, to the radio. Then I can click Save Changes. Then I want to set up my SSID. So I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi settings, Wi-Fi management, Save Changes, add new SSID, mesh Wi-Fi, all devices, WPA2, give it a password. I'm going to enable fast transition so it can roam between those APs. And then down here, I'm going to choose 2.4 gigahertz. So I'm, I want to dedicate 5 gigahertz for my backhaul infrastructure, and then 2.4 is going to be my broadcast. And hit save. And so now I've got that. Now I can go back to my dashboard, and there's all my devices. They've been up online there. So I should be able to then go and click on one of these. Uh, one, two, I'll open up two of them real fast. I should be able to go to Settings, Remote Web Admin, Settings, Remote Web Admin. And here I can see last configuration is zero minutes ago, last configuration zero minutes ago. So I should be able to go in here, pull this up, and I would should be able to see the mesh configuration. There we go. I can go to my AP tab right there and go to my mesh there's my five gigahertz mesh right there if i go to settings there's my mesh five gigahertz right there and then if i go to my mesh wds i'll be able to then see the status of all of these so here's my mesh link information look at that so there's my mesh link information my transmit rate and my status so i can see all of the ap's right there and this is with the new uh, 3.94, 3.9.4 firmware. Um, I can see all of these devices now in their mesh status. So anyways, that's how quick and easy it is to set up a mesh network with six AP Pro AX APs.